The Indogator is a multi-use disposable water bottle system designed to be used in conjunction with a sterile water bottle and a peristaltic pump. As seen on the right of the cart is a current reusable set provided by Olympus. Shown on the screen now is an Indogator along with an auxiliary water port connector. In the shot, we have an Olympus OFP irrigator with its full tubing setup. It consists of a reusable water bottle, a daily use irrigation tube, a daily use disc filter, and a single use auxiliary water port connector and tubing. The tubing seen here is connected to the auxiliary water inlet of an Olympus 160 series colonoscope. All Indogator technology is used in conjunction with the sterile water bottle. First, place a sterile water bottle as shown here next to the OFP pump. Removing the water bottle holder to the pump can sometimes make this process easier when using a non-cylindrical bottle like the one seen here. Attach the Velcro strap to the bottle to keep the bottle in place. After retrieving an Indogator set which is specifically designed for the OFP, you will now need to remove the cap from the sterile water bottle. Place the insertion tube in the bottle and screw on the cap creating a snug seal on the bottle. Unlike the smart cap, the bottle does not need a seal and actually allows air in through the blue HEPA filter in the top of the cap. Next, after you have opened the pump head of the pump, place the pump insertion tube inside the pump head. Make sure that the blue connectors are equally spaced on each side. Take the tubing and bring it up as seen here. With your finger, close the pump head over the tube set. This allows the tube to be lined up appropriately. As with each indogator, a connector must be used to connect to various scopes. The 24-hour use auxiliary water connector is shown here. The auxiliary connector screws onto the water inlet clockwise. The connector is secured to the scope. Take the distal tip of the indogator tubing and lure lock it to the connector. The blue connector you see here is a one-way or anti-reflux backflow valve. Now you can see the full indogator setup installed on an Olympus OFP irrigator. The system consists of only three items the water bottle, tube set, and connector compared to the Olympus setup which consists of five components to operate the system. Burn Medical also has an endogator tube set specifically designed to be used with our EGP100 irrigator. With our pump, a water bottle holder is provided. Place a sterile water bottle in the holder and connect the cap to the bottle in the exact same manner. After placing the tube set in the pump head, close the pump head over the tubing. Each endogator comes with a date and time sticker in each package. Take the sticker out and fill in the appropriate time and date. Then place the sticker around the endogator tubing. After the case has ended, take the endogator tubing and connector and disconnect it from the scope maintaining a clean distal tip. Then place the tubing on the tube connector stuck to the trolley. When you are ready for your next case, simply reverse the steps. Seen here, Burn Medical also offers one of its universal connectors, a single-use auxiliary water port connector for Olympus scopes. Unlike the multi-use version, the single-use connector is made of various plastics and contains its own anti-reflux valve. Connecting to the scope, however, is virtually identical to both the reusable and multi-use connectors. Attaching the endogator tubing is also the exact same, lure locking the endogator backflow valve to the single-use connector's valve. This creates a redundant backflow valve system offering a second level of patient safety against potential cross-contamination. Being a truly universal solution, all endogators can be used with any scope on the market today. In this section, we have a Pentax scope and connector shown. With the Pentax scope, to use our single-use connector, you must first remove the black water jet channel adapter. After you have done so, take the single-use connector and thread it onto the scope in a clockwise fashion. Then, lure lock the endogator tubing to the single-use Pentax connector. In this final shot, you can see the endogator tubing connected to the Pentax reusable adapter placed to the side next to the processor. 
A portion of this component was incorporated into the design of our single-use connector, essentially combining two pieces into one. One note to the Pentax jet connector seen here, although the burn medical connector will replace this connector for clinical use, do not discard completely. To properly reprocess the Pentax scopes, the Pentax connector is required to appropriately connect to an AER when reprocessing. Making sure you prime the tube set and scope before each case is extremely important. Doing this fills the channel with sterile water creating a filled auxiliary channel which impedes any backflow of tissue or debris from the patient back into the scope. It also allows you to verify the scope doesn't have any clogs and a nice irrigation stream will be produced when the doctor calls for it. After the tube set is attached, simply place your foot on the foot pedal of the pump, engaging the pump system. Place the distal tip in a fluid receptacle and watch for a precise stream after a few seconds. Once you see the stream of water, the system is fully primed and ready for the procedure. After you are finished with all of the procedures for the day, unhook the water bottle from the Velcro strap and open the pump head, removing the tubing. Make sure it is disconnected from any scope, take the entire system, and discard it appropriately.